And this one is just a question, and it's not a ticket per se, but it says, um, I want to start my career ASAP as I am a recent graduate student, and I'm confused which pathway to select. And there's nothing else, so we have no other information. And this is just an advice, I suppose. Uh, start from the beginning, unfortunately. I don't know what kind of a degree you have, but I'm assuming it's just you know, it's like a computer science or some kind of a certificate or something. But let's just assume that uh, it's obviously IT related. But in that sense, start from the beginning. And this is a good beginning, I suppose. Start working in like help desk or some kind of a tech support that's related to help desk. So it doesn't have to be like help desk like this. It could be help desk for a internet service provider so you'd be providing tech support for people that have internet outages and stuff like that or for a company for a phone company then that you are helping somebody with you know customers i suppose helping with their phones connecting to their wi-fi this and that all of this stuff all of these entry-level jobs count towards your experience now, if you like those jobs and if you start working for these companies, you can move within those companies to help desk that's internal help desk, which is this stuff of stuff that I'm showing you right now. And then from there, you can, you know, if you want to advance, you can become the senior member in help desk. You can become the lead member of help desk. And from there, you can become a manager of IT. Of course, while you're doing help desk and if you're interested and you show knowledge and interest in anything else aside from help desk whether it's system administration uh, some kind of cyber cyber security type of stuff uh, desktop support anything that you might be interested in so keep an eye out on jobs within your company and if you see internal job that you know you can do and you show interest and you show that you are a good worker then you can apply for these type of jobs. So you can take multiple paths, multiple paths within the companies that you work for. Of course, once you get some experience working at some company, and let's say you don't like it there, you can go to work for some other company that you would rather work for. So either way, the point is to get some experience. So get at least, you know, I'd say a couple of years of experience just to get you started. But even like six months or even a year worth of experience is going to help you a lot is going to help you uh, get other jobs as well so don't try to like immediately get let's say cyber security job or sys admin job you, you if 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 you can do that then that's fine i'm not saying don't apply for those jobs but i'd say apply for a job that you know that you can do for sure so sometimes you got to start from the bottom. I saw a post on LinkedIn. Somebody posted uh, recently. They said there is no such thing as cybersecurity entry level job. And in in that sense, if if uh, previous experience of cyber cybersecurity is required, then I guess in that sense there is no such thing as entry level cybersecurity. However, how do you get that experience? And the other point was as well to start from the beginning and then try to get into cybersecurity. So <laughs> that to me is very confusing. I'd say just start the way I described it. Start from the bottom, especially if you're coming out of school, uh, you know, you're a graduate student, then start from the bottom, see how it goes. If you can get immediate desktop support job or sysadmin cybersecurity, network admin, whatever it is that you went to school for, then that's great. Certainly try to apply for it, at least get some interviewing experience. But you'll have more luck if you apply for things that you know you can do and places that do tech support over the phone, which is what help desk is most of the time, including, you know, this type of help desk, again, internet service providers, phone companies, anything that provides any kind of tech support that's going to count as experience and that's the most important thing for you to get right now